Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we continued this first town in a brand new save in this uh, Royal Woodlands uh, map. And uh, we've made it into almost the end of year three. We're building a few other things here. Uh, we're working on also a new farm out here. And uh, in general, it's all a good time. Uh, we're moving a little slow uh, on purpose because we have a lot to do. Um, uh, a lot to talk about and a lot to kind of make progress on. So let's see. We're in hostility one, which means that creeping shadows is going to be a problem if we open any glades. But we don't have any glades marked to open, so we shouldn't have any problem. And then we just drop down because this is another thing. Uh, because the hostility goes up, the the hostility goes down. Sometimes you get that just tiny little bit that you need when you pass one of these points to knock that down a level. Uh, just when you're just slightly over to go just slightly under. It's kind of nice to have. Um, this person's bored. They're working on fabric. We're going to pull them out and maybe get them a job someplace else, like over here. Although, I think I want you to do... Uh, yeah. We can do biscuits here and at the cookhouse, even. Or the bakery, if we want. Uh, let's use the jerky. I think it's cheaper. We could take a look, though. Maybe the eggs... Um, eggs and berries and leave the vegetables turned on, too, for skewers. If we use three jerky... Or we use four bugs or meat. Compare that to the jerky recipe, which is six to ten. Um, then it actually is cheaper still to use the jerky. Because three jerky in this case is a lot less than even three bugs or meat, let alone four. So I think it's better to use the jerky here, or the jerky for the skewers, even though they have to carry it around and there's two craftings. I think it's better there anyway. Uh, the trapper, we have some meat for you to pick up. Come out here and pick that up. We want to put a storage out here. Uh, that's a, a, a small storage. And the reason we want to do that is because, well, the farm needs to go back and forth an awful lot. And so will, you know, other folks as well. So we're going to put a little bit of a storage out here. And we'll put that in like that. We'll finish this road up. I think I got one or two more segments to do in here where this wants me to go. But that'll be okay. Uh, do I have any humans free? I do. Two of them. Good. Get to work. Uh, well, maybe I should have not put both of you to work just yet, so you can help do the building of the fields. And then once you're done helping with the building of the fields, then you can do some plowing. Although they're not going to get a whole lot plowed this year. One in here is fine. Two in here would be nice to have. Because there's 15 fields here. And the lizard left to go do something else. Probably to go on a break. Oh, we can also speed the game up a little bit. And those two, by the way, are not these two. Uh, these two will be free in just a moment. Um, once they are free, then they can uh, we can pull them and put them someplace else. Okay, I've only got one in there. I've only got one in here. Uh, they're not having to make any flour. Hmm. Where are we at with the trader? Another nine minutes, so we're going to be basically at a year before we see them again. Uh, family gratitude, relatives of your villagers. Send gifts for treating their family members well. Get 40 water skins for a full reputation point gained through high resolve. So that's when the uh, the species is blue. That means they're earning resolve from reputation. No, earning reputation from resolve. And every time they get one full reputation point, we can get 40, 40 free water skins. I don't feel like we need this. Although, we still haven't found any clay on the ground, so maybe we will. Or we could get lost supplies. Uh, an unusual amount of supplies can be found in some glades. Gain 40 meat and 40 grain for each completed dangerous or forbidden glade event, except cloned events spawned by fishmen, caves, and blood flowers. Now, we haven't encountered one of those yet, and the glade event, or the danger glade event we're working on right now is already done, uh, as far as this is concerned, because they're here clearing the rewards out. Though they're done with that now, too. Um, and so we'll only get this one for future stuff. Uh, 40 water skins versus that. Eh, let's do this one. And also, our newcomers aren't here yet. If you remember, um, I mentioned at the beginning of the last year that we may not see them for a few seconds until after because we didn't take the last one until a few seconds after. And there they are. Uh, two, two, and one is five. Four and one is five. So we're about even here. Uh, do I need the humans or do I want all lizards? I think I would rather go with the spread. If 
all things considered equal, um, just to kind of spread them out, because we have eight humans and six lizards, so getting two and two would probably be a useful thing. And then I think I can put them in, uh, put that that beaver in to help cut some trees, uh, one or the other of the camps, and that's the other one there. We're gonna move them both down here, I think, or did I wanna, I think I will open that glade up, actually. After they finish the trees we have marked here. No, I can't tell where the last one is, so we're just going to do that. We need some more houses, though. Uh, we have four unhoused people, so that's two houses worth. Let's go here and here. And we could look at doing uh, the next level of of, encamp or of hearth here, but we don't get it yet. We're at the maximum level until we unlock more in our upgrades tree. So there's no point in taking this any further. Although we could open up another or set up another hearth. That's a possibility. And out here would be actually a good spot for a hearth. Let's take this out. Uh, a couple of you. Just two, though. That's probably plenty. Uh, use those reeds. And let's go. And then I also have... Um, oh, woodcutter needs to move. Nope. Well, yes, we'll move. But we'll also just take these trees out right here. Like that. I also wanted to do something else. Then I got distracted. Oh, put somebody in here. Yes. Put a lizard in there. We talked about that. I also want to put a lizard in here. Um, so we could have this one uh, make biscuits or not. We could have this one make biscuits or not. I think I'll turn the biscuits off here and let that one make it. That way we kind of spread the work out a little bit. And we're out of clay, so we're not going to be able to make any pottery right now because we need to find some more clay on the ground. But if we, if and when we do get a pottery, uh, some clay that we can make pottery with, I want them to make it with coal, not with wood. For the reasons we talked about here, uh, it is cheaper. Get that thing cleared. They finished this. They should be doing some farming. Uh, put another human in there to do the farming, and that'll be good. And then the the lizards who are working here will deliver to this storage, rather than going all the way back home. So it'll be a little bit faster turnaround for them, as well as for these, uh, as well as for this even clearing this stuff out they'll be faster in that in and if depending on where they came from also loading in the materials for the salvage would have come from this as well so it's kind of a nice little little trick type of thing going on here now let's do that and we'll just ch chop at those trees there road i didn't click it road 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 gotta have my road grid Okay, small glade. Meat, roots, and another small abandoned cache. We don't really have the stuff for the small caches. Not yet, anyway. Small foragers done with those roots. Let's put you out here at maybe these vegetables for a little while, and then we can come and get those roots later. Open this way up. Like, all of this here. Like that. Way open. And you all can just chop away at it. Uh, we'll put a road up the middle of it, maybe, like this. Extend our road in, just so that we have something going on there. We have three builders. Everybody's housed, so we could work. We could put them to work someplace else. We still don't have any clay, stone, or uh, sea marrow for this. How are we doing on fabric? We could put somebody back to work on fabric. You're bored in here, but I'm hesitant to pull you out of it. But I could. We could use that uh, larger herbalist camp, too. And we're just about to another reputation point. That'll be... Because of the lizards being happy. And we'll be there... Plus, point 0.1 per minute. And you can see here it says every full reputation point you earn lowers impatience. And that's what I was talking about last time, where... Every time it hits one of these lines, it drops the impatience by a whole point. Ah, we finished this, though. Plus five to Glade Event Carry, I think that was. Is that what that was? Mm-hmm. And then some bricks and some uh, planks. So Glade Event is anything that says Glade Event here at the top, including small caches, but also um, the Danger Glade Event we worked out here the last time. Um, even the, the the broken building was, was a Glade Event. So uh, now we have four workers free. Plantation? No. Forager's camp, the large one? Maybe. So we could see some big roots with some big vegetables. But we also could see some big uh, mushrooms, and we have some big berries. So we should definitely take this uh, herbalist camp here. Because that's one that I wanted. 
Let's build it. Let's get that built. Uh, I'm gonna build, build it here and then we'll move it because all camps can be moved for free. Uh, the other things that can be moved for free include the uh, the trader. You can move it for free, so you don't have to worry about keeping it out of your out of your town because you can move it around later. Um, and also, uh, houses are pretty cheap to move. I think it's five wood, but then again, these houses only cost, I think, five wood. So you're just as good to... Oh, they cost ten. But if you tear them down, you get the ten back in most cases. Uh, there's one edge case where you don't, uh, one, one world map modifier where you don't. But most cases, you get them back. So unless you, um, unless you really don't want to spend the time to do the rebuilding, do the rebuilding. Uh, this is alchemy proficiency, uh, which is the harpy, one of the harpy specializations. So we don't have any harpies. So we put a human in there just to pick the berries. Here, uh, two empathy decisions. This one, again, wait, did we not take this one the last time? Or did we just get it again? I think we just got it again. Uh, education, that's only going to be beavers. We need a building for that. Temple is one of them. Um, that gives us incense, oil, incense bonus, production bonus, which you don't have an incense recipe right now. Flour and oil. Uh, coats over here. Uh, 14 at the same time for 120 seconds. Um, we have 17 people who could. Did we take a coat recipe? No, we did not. Okay, we could probably use one of those, uh, but that's that's a maybe. But leather production only comes from the eggs, so we're not going to get a whole lot of leather. 20 fabric, that's nice to have. Oops, lazy finger. Um, I don't think I want to do this one, though, because I don't like doing the empathy ones. I don't think... I don't like doing the loyalty ones, for sure, because that's like the, the selling the cash materials and things like that. I suppose we could do this one, though, but I'm not really making much in the way of packs either. So let's try this one. Let's try Brotherhood. Hmm. No, I'll do new clothes. Eh. It's kind of a six of one, half dozen the other situation. Funding and outposts. 15 packs of building materials. We can make those in two different buildings, one at zero and one at one stars. You can see those there. And 20 packs of crops only at the makeshift post. Uh, gets us a bonus to pie production. A bunch of tools and some wildfire essence. By the way, wildfire essence is used to build the small hearths as well as to, I think, to put the um, the automatons in the, uh, the rainwater geysers. But we'll talk about that when we get to... Uh, veteran and the blight rot mechanic comes in. Have the need fulfilled for biscuits and pie each 50 times. Sea morrow, villagers, and goods. Or 20 packs of trade goods gets us villagers, some pie, and some parts. I think I'm going to do this one. Just kind of seems interesting. Let's do this one. And we're already partway there. Sorry, I had to mute myself for a moment there to sneeze. So, um, uh, we're working on that. We should probably pick out another danger glade. We talked about opening that glade too, but I think uh, probably not the forbidden. Oh, two of them right next to each other even. Uh, we could go into maybe this one. One of these two here. One of these two corners I think would be okay to, to go to. Uh, we're chopping away at this stuff. Harvester needs to move. That's you, and we have we have some more play fiber over here. Good. A little bit. Tiny little patch. Storm is coming. We are a little bit into hostility one, but we should be okay still at hostility one. Everybody's housed. That'll keep them happy. And we cannot open a glade. That's fine, too. Why don't we put one more worker in woodcutting? Just to... Um, Cut through some of those trees a little bit faster. As long as we don't get to this level, cutting through the trees a little bit faster is a good thing. Uh, which we should be fine. I'll let you all work on that a little bit longer. You're bored in here again. We can pull that back out if we wanted to have them do something else. We could have them help with the farms, I guess. Uh, they could work on that. Putting two in there is not 
not a bad idea. It's just not always the uh, the best idea. Yeah, that's where we're getting uh, leather from here. Is, is that? Maybe we'll do this one because getting all the way through this is going to be a bit of work. So I should probably have them do like a diagonal here, maybe, and they can start cutting away at that here. And even you all can come down here and help. Like that. There's the edge of town. cook in there and Jorg arrives so one of the other things with the traders is if their timer says uh, makes them do during the storm they will not arrive instead they will arrive as soon as the drizzle hits so Jorg was set to come during the storm and uh, all we had to do is just wait till the storm ended and he comes at the beginning of the drizzle uh, so the cornerstone here three plant fiber per minute there are many or several cornerstones that do this throughout the game, um, and it gives you a certain amount, usually it's three is a typical number, of some raw material on a steady basis, on a, on a per minute basis, which is kind of neat because it's free materials constantly. And it works out pretty well in that case. Uh, Alternatively here, we have uh, flame amulets, where an artifact infused with the power of the holy frame, flame, hostility from woodcutters is decreased by six. Now this is also scaled with hostility, just like the woodcutters cost themselves. And so we right now have six woodcutters, each costing us 12 hostility. Basically what this flame amulet does is it subtracts 50%. One of the cool things with this flame amulet is if you have two of them, your woodcutters are free. So, because it is it is an additive uh, off of the base, not a multiplicative effect. So, two of these add together to put your woodcutters at free. If you were to get a third one, as far as I know, your woodcutters would actually reduce hostility by this amount uh, instead of um, being zero even. But we're doing okay with hostility. We're not even hostility two yet. We're five years in. Um, I think we should pick the plant fiber per minute, although I should check before we do. How are we doing on plant fiber? We have 77. We are down to our last little patch here. Uh, that doesn't mean that there won't be more coming. We are also getting some from the trees at a 10% chance per charge. So I think we should probably do that one. Um, the alternative here is we could actually re-roll it which uh, we get one free reroll at this point uh, per game, per town, um, through various um, upgrades in the upgrades tree. You can get another one or two rerolls. And then there's a, a, an effect that gives you, I think, an extra one too. But I think we'll just go with the, um, let's just go with the plant fiber permanent steady, steady state deliveries here. What do you have for sale? You have, you have the plantation which we don't really want. Biscuits can now be produced in the kiln and the rain mill at two stars, by the way. Well, if we didn't already have one, two, two star biscuit recipes, we do have the kiln and we have the rain mill. So if we didn't already have two recipes, we could actually take that and be able to make biscuits in two different buildings. Uh, but we don't need it because we already have it in two different buildings. So uh, this one increases global food production speed by 20%. So that's not only raw food production, so farming and gathering, but also um, the manufacturing stuff like making biscuits, for example. Our food isn't doing great right now, but we're also just starting to make baked goods, which will help us quite a bit, I think. So I think we'll be okay on food. Um, I mean, at this point in the game, I usually have a few hundred of uh, food, at least raw food, if not, uh, if not uh, cooked food, but I think we're okay. Uh, not that, though. Um, 
this. So I don't think we need that either, uh, but we do need to sell some more goods to get to this point. So we, we should probably do some selling of something. We do have those packs of luxury goods, some packs of provisions, some packs of trade goods that we've gotten through opening up those um, delayed events and things. So we should probably sell those. These are worth 15 amber. These are worth 5 amber, and these are worth 15 amber. So right off, we could sell all of these for 28 because of that 1.25 value unless there was something else we wanted from this and we could buy some food um probably not food we can make but food we can't make like maybe pickled goods the lizards and the beavers both like pickled goods so we could do that in fact we maybe we should let's let's not buy that let's buy all of these instead um all uh, just drag the drag the thing Wally. and then We'll call that good. I can't remember who all eats porridge. Uh, let's auto this then. 34, 45. I would like to make just a little bit more. So let's buy... Let's buy some jerky. Even though we can make it, we'll buy... Oh. One piece of jerky. 28. 38. 34. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's good enough. We will trade that just to kind of get it as close as possible because I don't like to get uh, ripped off, ripped off any. So let's do that trade and we'll call that good. That gets us this done though, which means that we get three more people plus the uh, trader arrival speed is twenty five percent faster. So instead of being twelve minutes, it'll be nine minutes between traders. Um, twelve tools and three villagers. Let's take that. It gets us another point here, which gets us another building also because it's a diamond line. Uh, the weaver would be nice to have a good fabric recipe. On the other hand, we could take this to get a good coat recipe, but the other two recipes aren't that useful for us here. Well, the leather, we're getting some leather, so we could. Um, but we can also turn the leather into fabric. Um, or we could take the provisioner, but we have the f better flour. We don't really need the barrels, and we don't really need the packs of provisions for anything other than just selling things. Should I take the cloth or should I take the coats? Well, since we took this one, I think we have to take the coats. I think there's no decision there. So I decided to take the coats. Uh, let's see, where do I want to put you at? Maybe right in here. Although, see, now that's in a bad spot because I put this big building in there. That's all right. Put that in there and we'll make some coats. Even if we don't make water skins or scrolls here. Water skins take either oil or meat to, I don't know, line to, to kind of grease the skin so um i don't like to make them unless i have to that's just a me thing take out those two uh people are here i gotta take those before they scroll away uh, five or six so we should take the six having a couple more beavers might not be a bad idea but the extra person is probably more worth it Probably, so we'll take the extra person. And now we've got a bunch of housing. We have seven people to house. So we need to build three shelters. One here. One here. Another uh, shortcut key. If you mouse over a building and you hold, and you click shift or press shift, uh, it'll clone that building. One thing that I wish that clone would do that it doesn't do is to clone the ancient hearth to give us a small hearth. That would be really kind of fun. Kind of nice to have. Uh, Jorg is leaving. And everybody's house. We have ten builders. Okay, we need to find something else for some people to do. Uh, let's put somebody in here. We have people in there already. Let's put somebody in here. Uh, let's put... Put... Yeah, this too. Uh, this is a harpy building. Cloth is a harpy recipe, so we can just put whoever we want in here. And you can start making some coats, which means we probably want to staff this back up also then, because they're going to make the fabric there. We have a large flax field, so we can bring our our uh, our uh, harvester camp. Yeah, harvester camp down here. Uh, when it's done up there. Slickshell Broodmother small, so that's a small uh, s small meat. 
Small mead and leather, that is. Um, dewberry bush small, so we can pick those berries there. Uh, fertile soil times 15, that'll be good. We can set up another farm. And medium abandoned cash, that's the one by two. And an open vault is our is our event. Let's take a look at that. Dangerous glade event, an open entrance to an ancient dungeon. Strange sounds can be heard coming from inside. So again, a 13 minute. If we don't solve this in 13 minutes, a thick spreading cloud of miasma. It kills every living being within a radius of 20 fields. And you can see that it shows you where that edge will be. <laughs> Uh, so you want to solve this one pretty quickly for this we need to provide 10 of one of these five things we've got a crap ton of, of uh, resins so I would probably choose that here but it's gonna raise our hostility temporarily by 150 points otherwise we could bury the entrance to it that'll cost 10 planks or five of either of these um, and it will be a minus 12 penalty to resolve while it's being worked on I think I'm gonna, unless there's a reason to do, there isn't because we didn't take one of those to take to do a loyalty. I'm gonna do this one here and we will take uh, the 15 copper, 35 pottery and 35 pigment with us. Let's throw a couple people at this. doesn't really matter who because this is a, Glade events are always Fox specialization. I think always, mostly always anyway. So we'll do that and then they can do, they can do their thing at these trees over here for those of you who are left doing building tasks come and do this and do this that's perfect let's do that one right there uh, let's see let's do a road through here excuse me and I guess I might as well open this glade up too might as well That's what I want. It's that edge right there. Uh, that way. Yeah. Road. Path. Right there. Uh, we're good on housing. Okay. Yeah, you're taking the clay to make the bricks because we're going for 20 and which means that we're not making much of any pottery because the clay is going to bricks if it gets there first that's okay so you two managed to plant 12 fields and you two managed to plant all 11 fields in theory as we talked about they shouldn't be able to plant any more than uh, 8 apiece because it takes 30 seconds and those seasons are 4 minutes long but they don't get that much time so they only get six or seven each planted because of their break times although putting a hearth out here would actually not not hurt that uh, any so let's put a hearth right here I'm gonna put a path around it in a square because that's what I do I do squares and then once this is done oh this is done we can move that over here then And we can finish the square. They'll come out here and build this when they're done building uh, the stuff over here, which they're done with now. We'll staff this up for the storm so that they can get it plowed. Uh, 15 fields means they'll get 12 or so of them landed. That'll be fine. We could put a second farm uh, here, say like that, or maybe like this. It's overlapping most of the fields, but not all of them. The advantage would be that we could put one more worker in there and get all 15 of them covered, but then they would actually be a little bit bored for a little bit of time, so it's not always the best idea. And we finally hit a point from reputation alone, or resolve alone, so we get another free building because we hit another diamond. And notice now they space themselves out by twos, so we have a little bit of waiting to do. Uh, another fabric choice here, possibility that is, uh, plus... Um, Pigment, which we already have, and water skins, which we already have at one star. We've turned down the Provisioner two or three times now. Uh, I think we're going to go with the uh, brewery. Uh, that'll make that'll make Pete happy. We go with the brewery. Let's go with the brewery. There we go. You all can build that. I could have put it here, too. We still have not seen any clay on the ground. Is there sea marrow here, too? Yes. We haven't seen either one on the ground yet. That's insane. 
Uh, let's take out these trees right here. Open that glade up, but also get this road to come through. Hostility just dropped because... Oh, because we finished the event. Because uh, we were up by 150 and they just finished the event. That'll do it. We're okay at hostility 1. So I'd say we stay here. If we weren't, we could pull a uh, worker out to keep us at hostility 1. Need for pie has been satisfied. We just need to get there on biscuits. Uh, which is kind of interesting because... Well, no, actually it's not. Because there are fewer biscuit eaters. There's only 21 of them. Then there are pie eaters. There are 27 of them. So it makes sense that we would get through the pie... Given that they're using the same recipe, uh, flour and herbs, that we get to the to the pie before we get through the biscuits. Uh, we could take a look at these pickled goods. We just picked up a recipe for that. Skewers and uh, jerky, all having 40 people with the needs served, gets us a bunch more tools. Uh, uh, increased of increased to global food production by 20 percent. One of those we turned down at the last trader, and 50 oil. Or we could open up three more glades. Plus, complete one danger or forbidden glade event to get a bonus to crystal uh, dew production. Plus one every time it goes. Not worth it here because we're not making it. Uh, 25 amber and 10 parts. Or we could do this one funding an outpost again where we provide 15 packs of building materials. 20 packs of crops. We just took a one star of that to get 24 tools, a bonus to pie production, and four wildfire essence. We're not going to need the wildfire essence. I think we should do this one. And then our final objective this time, our final order, is to uh, open up three Danger or Forbidden Glades and complete two Glade events. To get some Copper Production Bonus, which we don't have, some Free Copper Ore, which we don't really need, uh, and three Villagers. Or deliver 25 packs of Luxury Goods, which we cannot make. Or deliver 25 packs of Trade Goods, which we can make. So let's do that one. We could turn Flower into, into that or something. We can make that here. Uh, yeah, we could probably turn flour into it since we're actually making flour. Although, you are a little behind on the flour making. I did set it, yeah. Uh, the, there's two dots here. That tells you that there's more than one ingredient selected. By the way, if you need to know that. Uh, you just need to move out a little bit further here. Yeah. And then we just open up another glade with another fertile field with 12 fields in it. Uh, some sea marrow, finally. Some mushrooms, good. And a rain punk drill. The rain punk drill is a small glade event. It's still a glade event, but it's a small glade event. And it works a little differently than uh, the danger glade events. Uh, small glade events do not have a negative uh, effect if you don't solve them. They also don't have a negative effect while you're solving them. So it's kind of similar to that camp we found earlier, and there's a couple more types of small glade events, uh, but uh, these rain punk drills are one of the types. So we could disassemble it. We'd have to provide some of these materials here, and that would get us some wildfire essence and some oil, or we could fix it for some tools, some parts, some oil, or some pipes. We've got tools and we're getting more if we turn in orders. Uh, after carefully studying this strange place of machinery, we can use it to our advantage. Spawns two to three coal veins nearby. Hey, we're going to get to mine some coal. Let's do this. Uh, let's throw just one person at it. It'll be fine. We don't need to get there and get it done super fast. That way I still have one person to do building tasks or whatever uh, as needed until these two are done anyway, which they're still unloading materials. Oh no, I wanted to do this. Let's get you out there and put you plowing. Let's pull this woodcutter. Get you out here in this field instead. And we can work that. Uh, so we'll probably also consider farming this. Um, it'll depend. But consider, for sure. How did that uh, hearth go? We need to staff that up and also get some housing out here. So the next uh, group of people we will house out here. Um, could get those shelters going for now. I'll get three of them put in, because that's how many we need to have eight people here. And then, plus we want to have some decorations, and I'm just going to be lazy and do park. Also some more path here. And we still need to get a worker in here. But I'm going to wait until we finish that glade event. And we're also going to turn these two in and get two more points. Here we are. 
Uh, nope, not yet. You're still hauling the last two handfuls back. Next cornerstone. Protected trade. Uh, the forestry seeds as heavily guarded trade caravans pour into the settlement. Hostility is reduced by 10 points for every time you sell goods worth 30 amber. Uh, unfortunately, this one is not retroactive, but we are going to sell more as we kind of go through. So this wouldn't be horrible. Um, ancient Pact. The cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see the content of undiscovered glades, but discovering dangerous or forbidden glades kills one villager. What that does is that will put a little symbol here that you can mouse over every single glade. And you just have to mouse over that little symbol and it'll tell you exactly what's in it, just like we see when the little the little uh, message pop-up comes up to show you everything that's in it. Exactly like that. It's just in a little thing you can mouse over. Um, it's not worth it, I don't think, at this point. So I'm going to do this one. But it's kind of... It, there's two of these. There's Ancient Pact and there's another one. Um, uh... The name is on the tip of my tongue that I can't remember the name of. Somebody will tell me tomorrow in the chat. Anyway, there's another one, and that one costs you or gives you an impatience point every time you use it, because you have to actually click on the glade to use it, I think, if I remember correctly on that one. Um, so there's two of these um, that, you, that let you peek into glades without opening them, but they are useful. Um, just they have a, a, a drawback to them, as you can see here. So we're going to take protected trade, and our trader should be here in a minute. Yep. And the reason I knew it was a minute before I opened it is because, well, we knocked it down to nine minutes uh, with that 25% uh, speed up of the trader, this one here, um, from 12 to 9. And they're here for two minutes at a time. So it's been 10 minutes since the last one was here. That means we have one minute to go. Since the last one arrived, I should say. So we have one minute to go. Uh, we could do this. But I want to wait. Actually, I want to wait and see where those coal, pop, coal things pop up. Uh, and I also want to do this. Like that. So let's turn in pastries. Get a bunch of people. And let's turn in uh, revive, or serving the people to get a bunch of more people. They're not a bunch of people, a bunch of tools. That gets us another building. They can come out here and do some of that work. We can assign somebody to this. Uh, I think I'm gonna put one of those beavers in here. I'm gonna find me a lizard that's not doing a lizard specific task like this. Or maybe I'll put the beaver in there, put the beaver in there. Although maybe I wanted the beaver for flower making. Yeah, maybe I should put the beaver in flower making. Put a human in there, put the uh, beaver in here. And we're gonna get, by the way, um, I, mean, I could have put a human in here, even. Productivity? Yeah, let's do the human in there. That's fine. Leave it alone. Uh, we're going to get a group of newcomers in a moment. So we will, or, or so, we'll take those and put them in here. Um, and then they'll live in these houses and everybody will be happy, in theory. Building choice. Ooh, human house. Building specifically made for humans. Has to be built near a hearth. Can house two residents. So this is the species-specific housing. I forgot that until you take them as essential buildings in the upgrades tree, this gives you the um, the ability to ha to get them as a blueprint uh, that you get as part of the blueprint thing. But I don't think I need them here. Instead, I think I'd rather take either the temple or the tavern. We currently have an education recipe. Um, how do I tell that through this? Or a scrolls recipe, those three. Uh, we do not have an incense recipe though. This one also is not my favorite. This is a fairly complicated calculation, which we never did any sacrificing. Oops, we'll do that in the next uh, storm if we have one more. Um, for every 300 seconds spent sacrificing goods in the ancient hearth, hostility is reduced by 20. We have not done any sacrificing so far. We're not going to do that much sacrificing, so I don't really care about the temple. The tavern will sell ale, which we took a brewery. We can make ale and wine. Uh, humans and beavers like like leisure. Beavers like luxury. Beavers and foxes like luxury. So in this case, only the beavers and humans and beavers. Uh, Gleeman's Tales is a plus three to global resolve if you have all three worker slots filled. We're going to do that one. And what does that do? Uh, that's, that's our first service building choice. 
So I mentioned that the beavers and the humans like drinking ale for leisure. That's here. You can see that in this, this thing here. And then the beavers also like drinking wine for luxury. That's here. And so that will give them additional... Um, let's do this real quick. Six or six. Don't need pipes. We could use copper, but we don't really need it. Let's just go with the even split. Yeah, go with the even split. Um, the the service building, we can't see it right now, but there's this consumption control menu that kind of has a really nice screen to show you what how that works. But uh, basically it works the same way as the food is working. It gives them some additional resolve if they have received that... Um, actually it says plus eight. I believe that's correct. The, uh, they can get an, an additional eight resolve if they uh, have recently had this service fulfilled. So that's kind of a useful thing. Uh, we could put humans in here. We have two of them. Let's throw them both in here. We're going to make ale. We're going to make pickled goods. Uh, if you see um, uh, barrels, if you get barrels from a blade event or something, use those first. Otherwise, use anything you want. We're going to make either wheat or root ale. And for pickled goods, we're going to pickle everything. Because I like pickling everything. And we're going to say you can use any of those you want as well. Packs of crops, we're not going to make because we don't need them for that. Uh, we may change our minds later, but we don't need them for that. And let's set up the packs of trade goods too. Because we should be making a bit more in the flower department. Or we could just do the pigment. What can I make the pigment out of? Is that here? Let's make coal pigment and let's make these out of pigment and I want 25 so I did an individual building and individual recipe override of 25 so that I can meet this did I get a lizard? I did go to work in the hearth so Hilda is here exactly on time hi all buildings have their storage capacity increased by 10 not a bad deal uh, woodcutters move faster. We don't really need it. We have 569 wood in storage right now. Uh, bonus to clay production. That one we do need since we haven't found any clay on the ground yet. And the only place we're getting clay, I think, is from this. As a 50% chance. Uh, not from the roots, I don't think. No, that's herbs there. So I'm going to buy this just so that every time this triggers this 50% chance... We get two instead of one. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Uh, what else is Sahil to have that I might want? Uh, we're doing okay on flour. I just got to get made. Uh, we have two of them working on it now, so it'll be better. We have yet to see any mushrooms on the ground. I could buy some clay from her. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, let's just sell all these two. Uh, you can right-click on one of these to sell all or to buy all, and then the auto button to balance it out. Oh, that's all right. Never mind. Uh, I still got to give you something else for this. I guess I will pay you amber for it. Wow, we have a lot of leather. Remember when I said we wouldn't need it? Yeah, I lied. Um, I could sell some of the wood. I could sell some of the resin. Just sell some of the resin. That'll do. Anything else I want? I could buy some flour, but we're doing the pigment for the packs of trade goods, so I don't think I need it. Uh, we're doing great on food now. We're up to 225. Remember when I said we were a little low? Yeah, not anymore. Let's just trade that. We'll call that good enough. Clear that. Uh, I put the lizard at work here, so they'll go and get uh, get some get some wood for the fire. You know, we should be probably burning coal in the fires, too. Checking this box on any hearth, we'll check it for all of them. They all share the same uh, fuel settings. So that does that. Um, am I making just root flower or both flowers? Both flowers. Okay. And we have a tavern. Let's put that tavern in down here maybe, or up here. Let's put it up here. That'll be good. Putting the, the service buildings inside the circle is good too. Once you get level three unlocked of the um, the hearth levels. 
Until then, it doesn't make a difference, but it's kind of nice to have it near storage because they go to the storage to get the materials to sell for the service goods. So Hilda's leaving. Gone. And so that's at... You know, that amount of time. So they'll, she'll be here just about mid-season next year. Ah, this finished. We have three coal nodes here. Okay, uh, where does the where does the farm go here? Could go there once I get rid of the trees, or could go here once I get rid of the trees. Either spot is fine. Um, probably over here because that's where the storage is. Although if I put it there, it's gonna block the road, and I can't do that. Block the road, so I'm gonna put it over there. Which means I want you to take out those two trees as well. And so, although this is going to block the road too, so maybe it doesn't matter. I'm going to build a mine here. Uh, where's that at? This one. Nope, that's the makeshift post. Mine, they look kind of the same, so it's hard to tell. Sometimes. If I put this here, that covers all three nodes. And we'll just put, yeah, we'll just do this. I'll just make the road turn a little bit to go there. We'll put the, um, the other farm in there. I'll have them go ahead and build these fields, have them ready to go. And we'll be good. Okay, that's done. This needs three workers. Humans are best here. So let's see if we can find some humans that aren't doing human work. Couple there. That'll do. And that gives us this plus three to global resolve. You can see that down here that it came in. If we take one of them out, that goes away. Poof, gone. And they'll go and find wherever they can find um, ale. Either in the storage, or actually, I think they will still snag it from the brewery to get it. Um, and if we had wine, they would get that too. And they will serve it to themselves, of course, as well as their other human and beaver, in this specific case's uh, patrons. And so then the human and beaver uh, resolve will go up from drinking ale. Um, and they will be happy. And they will start generating uh, reputation from the resolve as well. Although I should have put beavers in here. Uh, let's just do what I undo what I just did. Put um, put lizards in these places instead. Uh, where else do I have humans or beavers that don't need to be humans or beavers? Should work some of those caches too. I could put a lizard in here even. Uh, let's do this and we'll throw the three of them. That's fine. Uh, three beavers at that. And we'll also build this... Um, like this. We'll just go around like that. Get that other tree out of the way when you get it out of the way. Come down here. Do that thing. You all can move over here. Oh, I guess I could have done that instead. And we can close this corner. Road. Like that. Mushrooms. I didn't notice we got mushrooms there. Or I did, I think, because I read it. But I then forgot promptly. Do we have anything for... We can, oh, we can do the sea marrow for these caches. Oh, right. I was going to do that, too. Uh, let's wedge this in here someplace. That'll be fine. I'll throw somebody at that. We really don't need... Except that I want the clay, so I'm going to leave it there. I was going to say, we really don't need two people in that. But we kind of do. Probably could pull one of them out of here. Um, we could also do some of these caches, though. And... Some good stuff there. Um, hmm. 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 Let's do this one. I only got one, though. Need more people. Need more people. So this is now level one, which means that we have two stacks of the, um, of the encampment now. So we have plus four to global resolve, thanks to having two hearths, which is really nice. Grid time. Woodcutters are bored. Yeah, they're all bored. What do we want to do now? Uh, let's open this little one up. Why not? I meant to do it earlier and didn't, so we'll open that little one up. We're at hostility two, though, so we want to back out a few of these uh, workers. Nope. One more. Actually, I'm going to do some sacrificing, so um, we'll back them up for right now, but we'll probably put some back in.
What are the oh the other woodcutters? Those beavers used to be woodcutters. Uh, human. Another human would be nice. Let's put uh, swap you out right there. That'd be good. And we'll put two humans in here. We have three beavers to do some building for us because they were woodcutters. So when the seasons end, by the way, whatever they were in the middle of is canceled. So any um, if they were planting then they don't get to have that planted. If they were harvesting, they don't get to have that harvested. It just disappears, which is kind of a bummer. But hey, the frost, the frost kills. So we have mushrooms and we have flax here. Yes, we have mushrooms, Wally, mushrooms. So this is almost a kind of worthless glade, but I can open that up a little bit here. And we need to sacrifice 15 wood and 15 coal. That can only be done at this ancient hearth, the central hearth. You have to do it at this one and uh 40 per minute so we'll just do one stack of each which lowers hostility in total by 130 which puts us down to hostility zero which means that i can put two of those beavers back to work easily and even the third one if we didn't have anything to build which do i have anything for them to build or are they bored i think they're bored so let's move this one up here too and put them to work in here and not have any builders for a little while uh, you can move closer to that, because you might as well. Oops. Here. Thank you. And we'll, um, we'll take care of this in the next season. You see how high the lizards got? And they're still blue for a little while, because their, their uh, threshold is at 29. Which, remember, it was 15 when we started. And they're going to go all the way down to 10. Uh, because of the all the sadness. Now, since we're sacrificing, you can see this orange glow around the central hearth. You can also see this little symbol here. This is telling you that you are sacrificing fuel at the hearth. That's done, though. So we could pull that out. Probably should. Definitely want to pull... Oh, the coal's ended. Um, I'm going to keep the wood going just to keep us at this level, but we burned through all of our coal. Oops. I did have some stuff to build, but they were just roads. Not big deal. So I haven't gotten that need for clothing fulfilled. We're still working on these packs of trade goods. I could give you more help, I suppose. Okay. And since I had this box check to stop after the storm, they automatically stopped sacrificing as soon as that storm ended. We can turn this in. Some copper, the fuel burning longer, and the resin bonus. Um, plus three to pickled goods. Remember, we are making pickled goods here. So instead of uh, ten, we're now going to get thirteen from every craft. Plus some amber and some uh, uh, crystallized dew. Got it. And we can verify that worked by going over here. It's also down here, but you can always come into the building. And I mentioned this before, but um, <clears throat> excuse me, here on this effects and perks tab, it shows you which effects are affecting this building. And that's the Viceroy Survival Guide, which gives the food production bonus and also the pickle good bonus, because this is food. This is not, this is not, but that is food. Although we are running this unlimited, so I should probably go in and set some of these recipes here. Uh, do, 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 do. 30 pie, 30 pickled, 30 ale, save. And then this, rain pumps. Brewery production is 50% quicker. That wouldn't hurt. Value added tax. Specializing in a particular branch of commerce can bring a lot of profit. Packs of trade goods are worth 25% more when sold through trade routes or directly to traders. Well, we probably would make um, more of them um, than this 25, although we probably won't have time. But I don't think we're going to have time, so I'm not going to bother with that one. Oops, not what I wanted. Let's go in here and take this rain pumps. But we also got our final building choice, the temple, which we looked at before, the one that I don't really care for, the lizard house, and the beaver house. Well, we could take one of these. We'll take the lizard house. Now, what I want to do then is I want to replace some of the existing crappy buildings here with lizard houses. Um, Species-specific housing only houses two, but they get a higher 
bonus for having it. So let's put in two, three, four to start with, and then we can delete. Yeah, that's okay. Then we can delete some of these houses, although we're gonna get some more people, so maybe not. And if we get enough time, we'll go out and do the other four to get us to 16 or 15, as the case may be. Um, you've got eight people living here, perfect. That's what we want. And uh, unplus. Not that we need any more wood, but it's okay. You should be here any time. Remember, we waited a while the last year, so there they are. Three, one, and two is six. Two, two, and three is seven. And I don't think I need, I don't need 72 herbs. I have 160. You can tell that by the mouse over there. So let's go with this one. Even though we don't necessarily need the planks or the eggs or the reeds, one person is better than that one person, so we're going to go with it. Yeah, we have six unhoused people, but we're going to build four houses. So that'll house eight people right off the bat. How about we do another small hearth out here? Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, let's go right there. Put a road in right here. Like this. Like this. And then also a small warehouse, which I want to actually do first. So I'm going to prioritize that up one. Jorg is here. Harvesting crops is 25% faster. There's also one of these that makes planting faster, which means you'll get more fields planted per person, which is kind of nice to have. We don't need the small farm, especially not this late in the game. Uh, traders will arrive 15% quicker. We could do that one. Did we get some here a little faster? It's not going to matter. I don't think we're going to make it another year, but let's do it anyway, because why not? What do we want to buy? We could, we're making bricks. We could buy bricks if we wanted, though. Uh, barrels, no. Nah. Tools, no. Oil, eggs, vegetables, roots. No, no, no. Wow, we don't have any biscuits. I don't feel like there's anything that I specifically want. I think I'm just gonna pass. Pass. Um, I just thought of something, and then I forgot it. And then I thought about it again, and then I forgot it again. Something that he had for sale reminded me of something. Maybe? I don't remember what it was. Stupid brain memory. I have no idea what it was. I'll think of it eventually. Maybe. What are you short on? Bricks. Ah, oh, we should buy his bricks then. Let's go buy his bricks. All the bricks. Uh, give me a balance here. That's fine. Or, give you those and then balance bill. That's the same. Well, not the same, but you know what I mean. Yeah, do it. It's fine. We're tearing through that ale, though. Uh, they can't even keep up. You can build more than one building of, of a type, too. So if we wanted to, we could build a second brewery just to keep cranking out the ale and the pickled goods. Or have one focus on one, one focus on the other, that kind of thing. Woodcutters are bored. I'm not going to open up another glade, I don't think. Because we're kind of at that point in the game anyway. So let's just um, clear some of these trees just because we had them marked. And uh, otherwise we could do this glade, but eh. Ah, those four houses got done. Let's build four more. Uh, I can do... Well, you know what? Actually, no. Let's do that. Let's put them in here. One, two, three. Delete one of you. And do a fourth one right there. And they're short on fabric. Fabulous. We have plenty of plant fiber, though, because we're getting all that for free. And if we didn't have plenty of plant fiber, we could use reeds or leather. Forager camp. 
I don't see any symbols on the edge of the map, but sometimes I'll wander around just to make sure. Yeah, they're done. So I just put that down someplace, clear the workers out of it. I'll put, maybe put it down on the line to the grid and uh, call it call it there. It's fine. Alrighty. So 85 charges take a long time to go through on those big notes. Works out really well. We're also just about an hour in, uh, but we only have one more reputation point to get. And if I can get one of these to go, then we'll basically be there, uh, give or take, you know, happiness. But um, I think we should just finish up this town here in this in a few extra minutes. Uh, instead of pushing it to another episode just to finish it five minutes in. Um, we'll just go a little bit long here again today. Lizard. Just because they get the personal bonus there. And then we want to put some houses out here. Maybe I should have put those out here. Let's do that. Uh, instead. Holding shift lets you build... Or lets you delete... Um, Uh, without the confirmation dialogue. Be careful, but it also doesn't matter that much. We'll put a park out there, too, and they can build that stuff whenever they get around to it. Oh, you must have just made a delivery of fabric. Is there some available now? So with a third one of these that's going up to encampment level one, uh, or encampment, which is level one hearth, we'll have a third stack of encampment level one. And the lizards will definitely move into the lizard houses. They'll move out of the regular houses and into the lizard houses, which we might actually want to be careful with because we could potentially uh, shortchange that third uh, hearth uh, zone, depending on how they move around, how everybody moves around. So we have to be careful with that, but it should be okay. Let's um, add a worker here, and uh, this one's okay. That one's the one that I want. No, it's not okay. Let's add a worker here, too. Oh, you are bored. Well, then, well, we're going to pull you all out anyways, so um, that's fine. Empty your stores here, and we'll um, we'll pull them out. Get us down to level one, maybe, or not. Well then, yeah. Uh, well, it's fine to be at level two as long as we're not actually cutting. Oh, well, it dropped now. As long as we're not cutting trees, it's fine. So they can go and do something else. Um, there's no space in there for them to work, so they can just wander around and do nothing. Ah, they can build me a road here for no apparent reason whatsoever. We could open up one of these caches. I keep not doing it. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Two of you come and work here. Uh, let's do the, I don't know, the medium one, I guess. Here. Two of you come and work there. Actually, we might be able to get all four of them in. Let's do it. I could sell one of them to get the point, but I don't like doing the points. Uh, where's the last one at? There it is. Two of you, come work there. Stonecutter's done here. All right, you can hop out. I'll put you up here with this other one. We don't need. We cannot keep up on the food, let alone that pigment. Oh, that got done. Uh, we could win. Not quite win. Not quite. Five more people. Well, we filled them back in the houses, then. Oh, those were all lizards, too. Holy crap. Okay. Lame amulets. Peasant supplies. Three packs of provisions for every new villager. Sure, why not? I'm going to get a group here in a moment. Um, let's just have you all come down here. And we'll just give you some trees to chop for no reason. i 
also for no reason. Am I building a road? And there's our win. So we got a lot of deeds completed because we completed this town in kind of uh, in, in a brand new save, and these are all very simple. No deaths, big settlement with 40 villagers. We had 56 people in our first settlement. Uh, overcoming difficulty. We'll take a look at these in the next episode. We'll open up with uh, taking a look at the, the Citadel, look at through the deeds we just got and see what rewards we get. Uh, we got some food stockpiles and a couple of seal fragments. We, we got a, a, diff a difficulty here, which is different than the hostility multiplier. Our difficulty score here, multiplier here is only one. So we got a score of 814, which is respectable for your first town. Uh, we got 70 experience points toward level two here. So, um, yeah, let's continue just for a moment, uh, which brings us back in here, and then I can um, take a quick screenshot and show you on the thumbnail the sort of final stage of the town, and then we can move on and back to the world map screen where we can also pick out a new destination. Um, I'm going to not explain this now, and we'll save it for the beginning of the next episode, but we need to depart from here, um, which is which is a newer mechanic. So we could go into the marshlands here, although that's going to overlap. We could come this way out to here to another forest. We could go this way into that uh, Scarlet Orchard there. Um, so let me know your thoughts on where you think we should depart to, and we can do that uh, in the next episode as well. So thank you all for joining me. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.